geckos. There's over 1,650 species of them that occur right the way around the world. They're famed for having some of the most incredible coloration of all reptiles. In Madagascar, the day geckos can have almost fluorescent green coloration. Other species can be an unearthly shade of neon blue. In many species of geckos, the different sexes have different coloration. The males in particular can be brightly colored and use that coloration to attract a mate. In other species, such as the leaf-tailed geckos of Madagascar, the coloration forms an essential part of their camouflage to hide from predators. And in the leaf-tailed geckos, in some cases, the camouflage is almost beyond belief. This is a little leaf-tailed gecko here. It's perfectly adapted to bark. When you look along the length of his body, he's got a very flat profile, so he can flatten his legs and body right against the bark, and that reduces his shadows and makes him far less conspicuous to predators. Also his colour of course matches the bark and he can actually adjust the colour. Oh, <laughs> here he is off. He can actually adjust the colour a little bit to match his surroundings. But it's not just the shape and coloration of his body. He also has appendages all the way along his flanks. He has little flaps and little bits that hang out and they match the crinkled profile of the lichen on the bark absolutely perfectly. Even his little toes, when you look at his little toes here, they have little pads at the end that again just match that little crinkles and all the details in the bark. His camouflage is, is absolutely unreal. And when you see them in Madagascar, they're virtually invisible. I've walked past many and many and many a time and the guides have pointed these guys out and to your eye they'd be virtually impossible to see. Many species of geckos are quite small animals, but that's not always the case. This little guy here belongs to the largest species of gecko in the world. This one is only partly grown. When he's full sized, he can be up to 35 centimeters long. But already he's a very impressive animal. He's from the island of New Caledonia, and he's an example of island gigantism, where species evolve into really large sizes in the absence of regular predators. This little guy has a really interesting common name on the island of New Caledonia where he's from. The local people call him the devil in the trees because he can emit a low growling sound, almost like a, a rumbling growl. It can be a bit eerie as you walk underneath the trees. Many species of geckos are really easy to keep. And one of the easiest of all is this little guy, the leopard gecko so called for his beautiful spotty coloration. All you need to keep this species is a large enclosure. They are nocturnal, so they like a little shelter to hide away in, such as this one here. You can then spend quite a bit of their day in, in there in shade. Then don't forget to give them a, a little bowl of water, which they drink from and replenish it frequently so it stays fresh. And also their food, which is mealworms. You can buy these from your local pet or reptile shop and you need to replenish them every, every, every few days, two or three times a week. Other than that, they're very easy to keep and they're very easy to hold and handle. They come in a range of different colors and some of them, such as this little fellow here, are devoid of dark skin pigmentation. So they appear a beautiful ghostly white or pink.
If you're a bit squeamish about feeding live prey to your geckos, there are some species that actually don't need live mealworms. This little guy here is a crested gecko, so called for his beautiful crest on his head. These guys are nectar eaters and fruit eaters in the wild. They will take some insects, but in culture, you can give them this special fruit powder, which you mix with water, and the geckos will drink and nibble away at that little bowl like this, and be very happy and perfectly healthy. Like the leopard gecko, crested geckos come in a whole range of different color forms. This one over here is the Dalmatian form of the crested gecko. So cool because of his prominent Dalmatian-like spots that cover all parts of his beautiful body. You might notice that this little fellow doesn't have a long tail. Many species of geckos can shed their tails when they're being attacked. In many species, the tail will keep moving and wiggling around once it's detached from the animal's body. The idea being that the gecko can escape scot-free while the predator eats the tail but leaves the animal alone. This species of gecko likes to climb, so it's a good idea to provide quite a three-dimensional culture habitat with some different branches or items for it to climb and explore. For more information about different species of geckos and their culture requirements, please visit the Weird and Wonderful Pets website to download a free PDF. Please visit the Weird and Wonderful Pets website where you can secure your copy of the accompanying book.